All right, today we're going to change the hard drive out on a MacBook Pro. The one that we're going to be checking out today is a 17-inch mid-2009 model, but the process will be the same no matter which MacBook Pro version you're using. We're first removing all these screws that hold the bottom cover onto the laptop. You'll find seven of these smaller screws. And then in the back located near the exhaust fans, you'll find three longer ones. Now all you have to do is just pop off the cover and we'll take a look inside. First you'll see the DVD drive. Move over here to the logic board and you'll see the two coolant fans for the heat sinks. There's the hard drive that we will be working on and the battery and you can see the green RAM chips there as well. Now this is a two and a half inch drive. They come in different thicknesses and the MacBook Pro does accept both. There's a seven millimeter and a 9.5 millimeter thickness. Most SSDs these days come in a seven millimeter th thickness but you usually won't have any problems in a laptop even if you do have the 9.5 millimeter drive. If you're working on something other than a MacBook Pro, you'll want to make sure that you don't get a 9.5 millimeter drive that won't fit in your laptop. If you have an ultra thin laptop or something like a MacBook Air, this might be an issue. But generally, most laptops will take the 9.5 or 7 millimeter drive. Uh, currently the one that we're putting in here is a 7 millimeter drive. You might have noticed when you took out the first hard drive that it had some small metal studs sticking out of the sides. There should be four of them. You'll need to remove each of these studs. This is the only part of the process that will require any kind of special tool. These studs usually use a Torx wrench. So if you have a set of Torx wrenches, you shouldn't have any problem. The purpose of these studs is to make sure that the new drive is firmly seated in the laptop so that it won't shift when you move or carry the laptop. All you have to do is unscrew these, take all four of them out, set the drive aside, Grab your new one and install them onto the new drive that you're installing. So now we're going to install the studs on the, the new hard drive that we're going to put in. Make sure you get these pretty snug, that way they don't come loose. You also don't want to throw out your elbow tightening these things or you may crack the drive. Once we've got our studs installed, we will then connect the SATA and power cable and just drop the drive right into place. Then all we have to do is grab that retaining bar place it in the right location and tighten it down and our drive is installed and secure. And now that we're done, all we've got to do is put the cover back on, tighten it back up, 
and we should be all good to go. And just a tip when you're tightening down the case, start with one screw and get it to the point where it's just starting to get snug, and then put the screw in on the opposite side of the case. Do this for all of the screws, and then when you go back through to tighten them down firmly, do the same thing, starting in one, and then going to the complete opposite side of the case until you've tightened down all the screws. The reason you do this is to make sure all of the holes line up, and then also to make sure each screw is tightened evenly. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and you'll have to check out some other videos.